Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be covering basically all the items that I got for my newborn and what items I thought were really, really good because I thought it would be pretty helpful. So um, sometimes you're like racking your brain on what to get and obviously if you're a first-time mum like I was or a first-time parent in general, then, you know, you're going to be thinking, do I need that? You know, what, what will I actually use? So I was like talking to my friend the other day because she's due to give birth. And I was going around my whole house thinking, okay, what did I get? So I'll go through basically what I got from his, what he sleeps in, what he uses in the day, that sort of thing, first of all. So I could not recommend more the Snus pod. So that sits next to your bed and you can feed your baby. If you're breastfeeding, you can just whip them out. You can just literally like reach on in there, pull them out, and breastfeed or you can just easily get to them to give them a bottle anyway. But the Snus pod I found to be insane, so I'd highly recommend that. Obviously all the bedding that you need with it, and the mattress and the mattress protector as well. So little things that you just don't even think of, but obviously we all know that they're gonna have accidents. So the mattress protector is a godsend. None of these are paid for ads, by the way. These are just what I got in general for my baby. He goes down to sleep in that. So then in the day, he'll go down in a Moses basket. I got that from Snuggle. He really, really liked that one. It was super easy to put together. And obviously, again, you need the bedding for it. Um, another thing is the Snus iCloud. It's like a white noise teddy. The reason why I went with this one is because it's so easy. It's like compact and it comes with obviously this strap. So you can strap it onto like the side of your Moses basket or onto your pod, etc. Also, with the Snus pod, I'd recommend it's kind of like a side slip. I didn't know about it until someone told me on my Instagram, they were like, look, you need to get this side slip. It goes on the side and you can put nappies in there for when you're doing your middle of the night changing. It's so handy to not go into another room and to just be able to store your nappies, nappy cream, you know, an, an extra outfit in there as well in case there's any accidents because in the newborn stages, that's always what happened. Um, so that's the two things. Then obviously the car seat. I went with the Cybex Cloud Ferrari one. Um, the cloud in general is just amazing because in the newborn stages, I think they can only be sat up for about 20 minutes or something. It's not a lot. With the cloud, you can literally lift up this button, pull it back and or like push it down and the cloud actually lies flat. So you could be out anywhere um, and just press this button and then they're, they're lying down. So you don't have to worry about their spines. So that was so handy, that car seat. I'm still using it now um, and he's coming up to five months, but he absolutely loves it. Obviously, you can just take it out of the car as well and put it onto the, I use the egg chassis. So you just pop it on there. It comes with the adapters and it's honestly so easy. Um, and he likes being up tall as well. So it, it, it really works. And then obviously when he gets older, I've got the next size for the egg pram. And I didn't really use, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't use the carry cot. A lot of people said this on Instagram as well. They were saying, you know, it's only up to six months. My baby grew out of it super quick. My baby grew out of it as well. I'd say three months, he was too big for it. But it came with a bundle set. So I wasn't really that bothered that, um, you know, it wasn't like it was wasted because it came with the, with the set anyway. I didn't go out and buy it separately. Obviously, you need, you know, your blankets. Blankets, I do like the cellular blankets from Snus and Little Green Sheep. I do like those. And then you've got the really cute ones that I've mentioned before from the Knitting Bee MCR on Instagram, Mora UK. They do like little personalised ones. And then I got a Four Mums Mummery. It's an electronic kind of seat. He loved that bit. I think around three months stopped using it. And then he's just got this little bouncer from Fisher Price, which for some reason he loves the owl on it. Fisher Price, I just put owl bouncer chair and it comes up. But he loves that. Watch your toe on it. Oh my lord, it splits your toe. I go on about it on my Instagram all the time. You can put it anywhere and honestly, you will stop your toe. The amount of people. So I've had it in my house and say somebody around for dinner, <laughs> they'll walk past it. And they'll stop their toe and I'm in pieces because I'm thinking, yeah, I've done that a million times. Like, I feel your pain it is excruciating. <laughs> and they, they just go, oh my God, what a stupid design. <laughs> and it really is. The amount of people that have messaged me on Instagram to go, Lauren, honestly, I've walked down in the middle of the night, done my toe on that and I've wanted to lob it out of the back door <laughs> window. 
I feel their pain, honestly, but he loves the owl. I can't get rid of it, so it's staying. Jelly Cats, absolutely loves Jelly Cats, but I did speak about this again on my Instagram. He started to use the Baby Bamba muslins. They're really, really soft. They're from, um, yeah, on Instagram, it's baby.bamba. I'll put it here. But um, they're made from bamboo, and they're so soft, and they're breathable. So when he puts them all over him, I don't have to worry about it. You know, they're, they're incredible, and, yeah, he just... Loves them. So I got all my business from there. Need a double pump, electric double pump. And then obviously all the bottles that I've spoken about for the sterilizer. The stuff you're going to store your milk in, frozen bags, soothers you need, cowpole. All of my bath products are from Child's Farm. I'm obsessed with them. So I've got the baby shampoo, the baby wash, the, I think it's a bedtime bubbles. Um, he loves that. It smells of tangerine. Oh, obsessed. Their baby oil, I love putting the baby oil and the moisturiser on him when he comes out of the bath. Obviously, you need the hooded towels. I liked those ones from Snooze and Little Green Sheep. Um, the Little Green Sheep ones actually are organic. They're really, really, really nice and soft. I think I got him like a little bear one. It was so cute. Um, and I got him bath toys from Tommy Tippy, the ones that stick on the bath. At first, he, he didn't really care, but it didn't take him long to be really, you know, he interacted with them. He watched the water go through the toys. He really, really liked those. Um, and obviously, you need the bath insert as well. Angel Care, I just got a little blue one from there. He's kind of outgrowing that now, so I think I'm going to have to get him, like, a seat one or just start bathing with him, like, sitting up. Obviously, you need sterilizers. Be careful with your sterilizers. A lot of sterilizers actually go mouldy, so look at the reviews. I would actually recommend the MAM one. It's ideal honestly you can microwave it you can have it on the um have it as an electric sterilizer but that to me you can bung so many bottles in there it's so quick and easy it's just it's a godsend that one what i didn't know is actually that sleep suits actually have the mittens attached to them you just pull them over but i didn't know this at first i was like oh this sleep suit doesn't have mittens attached and then someone on my instagram again was like oh have you actually checked because they come with them and they're a lifesaver as well and also a little a little hack I got told this again. The vest, you know, they have like the weird triangle things on the shoulders. If you've had like a really big poo explosion or something to deal with and you don't want to take it over their head, then if you pull down the triangles, you can actually get it over their shoulders and it comes down. But I didn't know this. I don't think many people did either, but it was kind of like a revelation to me. I was like, wow. And um, that's been quite easy for a few poo explosions when you don't want them to go over their head and get all messy. Obviously, you can get the baby carriers. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I've not used a baby carrier once. Might have been because of lockdown, but I know a lot of mums do use a baby carrier. Another thing, I would say the sleepy head. For some reason, there a lot of people will say, oh, no, they're not safe, blah, blah, blah. They're not recommended. So the sleepy head for him, yeah, he loved it. He felt cosy in it. Even in hospital, they were rolling up blankets trying to make them into sleepy heads. And I did speak to them about it and they said that it's fine. Obviously, in the snizz pod, it's netted, so it is breathable. He outgrew that pretty quick, I'm not going to lie, about three months. He's quite like a broad baby, a stocky baby. Um, Isla's a little bit smaller than him, but she's longer, so she's she can still fit in her sleepy head. She loves it as well. I thought they were worth it. I used it every day. And uh, now, obviously, he's just in his snizz pod with his bedding and that, which I got kind of like this soft swaddle from Ling Lux. They're um, due to reopen soon, but that's been amazing. I'll put that on my Instagram as well. A white noise machine. I was recommended this by a sleep expert. He loves being outside for some reason with all the birds. I mean, he might become a tree surgeon, I'm not sure. But I have literally put that on at night and it's been really, really good for his sleeping. There's honestly so much to get, but you don't need to like overdo it. The newborn stage, honestly, they, they grow out of their clothes within the first two weeks to a month. He was out of his newborn clothes and in the up to one month clothes. And then before you know it, he's in the three to six months. So really don't overdo it with the newborn clothes. Also, they're only really in sleep suits for newborns. And then that's when you start putting them into outfits, I'd say, after like a month. Because they're just constantly, you know what, so it's just pointless. Bibs, you need bibs. The new style that have come out are kind of, they remind me of like little sheriff ones. You know, they're like triangle. They're really, really useful because they go tight against the neck. So you're not dripping milk down where the usual kind of circular one goes. So I'd get those. Um, they do some good ones from Baby Bamba again, bamboo ones. They're really, really soft. They also do some again from Adam and Anae. Nappies. Wow, you need nappies. Like, 
a load of nappies. You need to get a stock up on nappies. Um, for the first two sizes, size one and size two, I used Aldi nappies. They were amazing. I never had any leaks. They were so, so good and they were affordable. A lot of people said Little Angels were good from Asda. A lot of people said Sainsbury's Owns were good. And a lot of people said Fred and Flo were good from Tesco's. Um, I've only just started to move the size three onto Fred and Flo. They're going really, really well so far. And I've used the Pampers dry pants for at night. They've been a godsend because obviously when his tummy goes in from weeing, it goes with the tummy, the pants, rather than just leaving a massive gap from where the tapes have been because he was having accidents and then he was waking up at night and it was just, it was a nightmare. So those pants have really helped now. A lot of people have said to go into the premium protection nappy pants. I haven't tried them yet. I'll wait till I get through this bundle and then I'll give those a try. I had formula in the house just in case I couldn't breastfeed. I had the hip organic ready. Oh, 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 dividers for your drawers. Ikea dividers for drawers just make things a little bit more simple, a bit more organized. I did that for his drawers. You don't need to worry about monitors at this stage or anything like that because they're pretty much with you 24-7 as well. So I didn't have to worry about that. So I'd say they're pretty much the main items. But um, I do cover a lot of this again on my Instagram. And any comments that you guys pop, I will reply to you guys. Okay, so question of the day. Do you think Junia looks like you and has some of your traits? Um, everyone says that Junior looks like his dad, literally like, mini me that's why i call him junior which is so weird because obviously you give birth to your baby you expect them to kind of look a bit like you i mean i did have hair like him i had a head full of coconut hair but then apparently so did he so i'm not sure um does he have traits like me i i don't i don't know if you can tell at the moment because obviously he's so so young i feel like he i would say he's a little bit stubborn i'm a bit stubborn um but he's such a happy baby so we'll see i, I don't know if, i don't know if i was a happy baby mum was i a happy baby uh, De is he demanding would you say he has any of my traits um, yeah, he's stubborn. stubborn you see it's the stubborn trait so okay my mum just agreed he's stubborn like me oh what a treat to have but he's a super happy baby and um, always laughing always smiling and he just makes you in such a good mood but yeah I definitely say he looks more like his dad um, at the moment maybe he'll change you never know but yeah spitting image uh, so that's the question of the day answered um, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, please. And yeah, any comments, I will reply back to you guys and follow my Instagram. And yeah, it was good to speak to you guys again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.